Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Tut here with another tutorial for you guys. Today I will be showing you how to use and make presets. Alright, so first thing that I'm going to do is import my videos. So I am going to select two videos which I'm going to use. Hold on. Okay. So, welcome to another tutorial as you already know. Today I'm going to show you my presets that I made in After Effects. They're royalty free. Um you don't have to pay or anything, no copyright strike anything, just they're completely free. Um, it would be nice. I'm not saying you have to, but it would be nice if you could credit me or something. Just say the name of the preset or anything um, by Mr. Tun and a link to my channel if you want. It would I would really appreciate it. If not, it's still okay. You guys can use it if you don't feel like um, saying the name of the person because I don't really personally. But it would be really nice. Um, now, I made two presets, which I will have a link in the description so you guys can download it. Uh, I hopefully, maybe I will, maybe I won't, but I'll try to do some LUTs presets or color grading presets, which you guys can download. I'll also do a video of that if I make it, which I will try to. If it turns out good, if it doesn't, then I'm not going to make it, but so... Yeah, but today I have two presets. The first one I have, which I'm going to use this footage, is all of them are called like Mr. Stuff. So I have Mr. Handheld, Mr. Quick, and Mr. Security Cam. Now, Mr. Security Cam, if you drag it onto your footage, is a security cam um, preset footage. So you can drop it on and yeah, but um, you will need to play around with some of the settings to do uh, to get the right look. Now, here I put some noise onto my footage. Uh, it's a bit too much, so you can play around with it. Here I have the noise. See, um, you can use color noise. So you see like color in it. Uh, clip result values you can play around with that also change the amount of the noise so anyway so that's my first preset uh, if you want I'm going to quickly show you guys how to make it so I added a hue no nope. the right one you know what? I forgot. No, that's sorry. It's not you have to spell hue. Uh, hue and saturation turns change to minus fifty to take away some of the saturation. Added a noise effect, and you can change it. You can also change whether to use color noise or not. It's all depending on your taste or your footage. So I did. 10 and then I'm gonna also do add a uh, VR denoise effect and turn that down. I change from random value to salt and pepper and then just I don't know you can kind of see if I boost it or uh, take yeah take it down you see there's a little different if you look down here where my mouse is you see there's a little blur I don't know it just kind of gives it a little different look to the footage then I added a I'm pretty I'm almost positive that this is not the order I did this in but I did like curves down the red some brought up the nope brought up the greens not completely sure how I did you can play around just get 
nice look you want. After that, I added the levels effect, and you can change the input white, whites, and the input blacks. So just mess around with your footage. You don't have to add them at all. The levels, um, it's all depending on your footage and what you, what the look you're going for. And then I, let's see, levels, throws the noise, noise, hue saturation. I added a vignette effect, so it's good I checked that, so. Vin, no, uh, how you spell vignette, uh, okay. CC vignette, dropped it on. Now, if I uncheck all the rest of these layers, you can see this vin. Uh, you can play around with it, uh, all the settings. But here, if you look here, you can see that the vignette just adds a little like darkening to the edges. You can play around with all the settings, find the look you're going for, and then you're done with it. Or you could, you know, just download my preset, which is free, so saves you a lot of time. Uh, then the second thing we're going to do, I just quickly had to find some footage. Uh, you know, this, this looks really creepy. I didn't actually see how creepy this was. Okay. Huh. We're going to delete that, and we're going to add a... Let's see. I'm trying to find the footage that we could use. Right, this and let's do this. All right. So copy those. To so next effect, yes, the next preset you can also download. You'll I'll have a link to all these presets in the description. The next effect is Mister Handheld which is a made preset that has so if you just drop it on it's just this nice subtle handheld effect to your footage um, now there will be some black on the edges so what you'll need to do is scale up your footage I found that 109 was good mm, let's just do 100 and that's wrong. That's wrong. All right, 110. Just to be sure. And now, if I preview it, um, turn this off. You see that you just get this nice subtle uh, handheld effect. Like the original footage, it like didn't move at all. But or there's just a little like movement there with the tripod. But Otherwise, there is no movement in this shot um, until I added it. Now, you can still add this to your footage, but most of the time people would add it. So, it wouldn't look too noticeable, like if there are any flaws in the effects or anything. It just uh, it helps not to pay attention too much on the effects. Um, if you don't like my... Uh, preset I'm going to show you how to make your own because mine might be too much um, but it's all depending on your taste and everything so how you do that is you either um, open up this triangle this uh, rotate triangle and open transforms and go to your position or what you can do is hit P on your keyboard and then it brings up the position uh, things Ugh. forgetting <laughs> what to do now you can select your position go to animation and add expression there so Go select your position, animation, add expression, or you can hold the alt key and select the stopwatch, and it will bring up the same thing. So, whatever you want. Now, I will have the, um, the, 
So I'll have the words like what the you have to encode. Uh, hopefully in the description, I'll try to put that in. Um, but what we have to type, maybe you can just see it on here on the screen. Wiggle, and then this bracket thing, or I'm not even sure what it's called. And then put in a value of how many times a second it will move. Um, so two, I think that's what I did for mine, but I'm gonna do a more subtle one. One, uh, comma, and then or coma, comma. I'm not. I'm pretty sure it's comma. And then enter the other value. Now this value will determine. Uh, the first value will determine how many times a second uh, it will move, and this will determine how many pixels it will move in the direction. So 40, I'm pretty sure that's correct, uh, what I just said. Alright, blah, 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 there, what's wrong? Alright, after figuring it out for so long, for so long, in the end, I figured out the problem. Wait, what's this? All right. After tons of thinking, I finally figured out the problem. I was not spelling correct. I have to fix that. <laughs> that is the worst mistake ever. So, again, go. Um, you have this open. Type wiggle i added two l's and one g you're supposed to have two g's and one l i'm so stupid okay wiggle yes yes everything um one one comma uh and then let's try 30 then the end thing and now it has more of a subtle movement now it's not too much I think I'm going to boost it up to, let's try, 100. No. Well, we have to end the comma. Alright, so it moves more um, pixels. You see, it moves a lot off screen. But if I do add, put 40, but then add a value of five no. oh, yep. have to and then then now you see it moves a lot more that and that doesn't look too realistic that would probably just be a person who has super shaky hands but just type the values you want find the nice look you are going for or you could as always download my preset free um, would appreciate it if you credit me and now with the last effect um, is D is a shake effect so if I just add this on scale up let's do 100 no, 112 just to be sure and now you see it like moves too much but you we can just cut the footage the amount we want just do it more so it's like crazy ah, so that's the like shake effect you can also add motion blur to that image but it just kind of looks like the met the I mean, you can add motion blur to a video but then it just looks like the lens I, I don't know it it's okay but it, it kind of you can see here with and without it it kind of you can do it but on some times it might look like the camera is just messing up um but you would usually add if you want to do a cool effect just like boom like a shake or bass or something or if you want to have an earthquake you yeah i like sound effects now how to make this how to make this effect it's super similar to the other one you do the exact same things 
wheel, except you add a higher expression. So let's say seven times and like 80 pixels. Now that's probably gonna be really crazy. So, and then you can also scale it up. Now you see it's it's going pretty crazy. Motion blur. See, it's going pretty crazy. So just mess around with the values. Find the nice look you're going for. Always remember to scale up your footage because you otherwise you will have black parts cut off from your footage. And otherwise, that's it. And as always, um, please download my effects. I would appreciate it. And uh, my presets. I will try to do a color grading or and make LUTs for you guys or color grading, color grading presets in the future. I'll try to do it. If not, if not, um, hopefully you know how to color, color grade your own footage and that would be great. But I would also appreciate if you credit me and till next time everybody, bye. Please comment, subscribe, like this video, share and whatever you want. Yeah, bye. <laughs>